Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Please take this moment now with helping me. Click here, subscribe. Next, click this bill. Next, ensure to click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Next, click this thumbs up button. After every time you watch my video, this pushes it up in the engagement ratings and means it will be suggested to more people, therefore it's likely to get more views to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I also have a Patreon page. Click show more. Scroll down. This link here, my Patreon, click on it. Select a membership. With this membership, you'll get access to all this information. Very good content. Tuesday, August 17th, 0738 AM, New York time. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube. It's Tuesday, so that's Taco Tuesday. If you're in the States, you probably know better what that means than others. Yep. We'll start looking off with the currency index of the US dollar. The currency index of the US dollar, symbol I'm using is dollar sign DXY. <clears throat> Excuse me. The three largest currencies in there, First is the euro, second is the yen, third is the pound. So the euro represents almost 56, almost, no, almost 58%. Uh, and then the yen, 13.6%, and the pound, 11.9% represents the average. Look at that. For the week, because we're looking at weekly time frame, each candle is a week. And since it's Tuesday, the week's not done yet. Yellow candle, inside candle. We don't have to take out the higher low of last week yet. Big consolidation here. Yep. The low for the year is here. The high for the year is there. So we're in that consolidation phase of the US dollar. Closer to the highs than the lows. Got it? Good. Let's go to the single pair currency currencies now. We're start looking at the Forex Euro pairs first, the major ones. Start off with the Euro, US dollar. So when these prices are declining, that weakens the currency on the left, that would be the Euro. So because this is declining, that's giving strength to the US dollar. Look at that. Here's the high for the year, for the Euro, US dollar, and here's the low. So current week again, it's inside the prior week, just like the US dollar. So maybe it's the Euro that's causing that big effect in the US dollar index, but also <clears throat> we're at the swing low here. This yellow horizontal line, and in this demand zone. Look at that. Last week we tested it, rejected it, still in this demand zone. Maybe it'd be a turning point. It may be a turning point. Watch this closely. If it's a turning point, maybe the turn will reverse go up. But here has been a lot of sellers, as here, as well here. So the current momentum for that euro is down. So we use caution. Could be an easy fake out. Yep. Just like this candle might have been a fake out, might have been a stop hunt. So we'll see if that really is going to reverse the upside. But that's a trade idea. If it break above here, maybe consider going bullish and have you stop below that. Euro, yen, again, yen being the, the uh, pair. If this declines, it gives favors to the yen. So this is the euro, yen pair. And the yen is a safe haven currency. So here's the high for the year. And now we're here in a demand zone testing right there. US um, dollar and yen also, the yen is getting strength. So want to be cautious. This may be a breakthrough. So it may be able build a consolidation, a little bounce, but a breakthrough further down, I'll be short trading bearish. Euro pound. Yeah, the euro is taking a beating. Again, this is in favor of the pound. Here's the high for the year. And look at that. We last week broke below the low of the year, making all time new low, which is down here. So this was the low before. Let's remove this. Giving favor to the pound. Yep. So does the reverse. And is it really a bounce or a new trend forming to go higher? 
time will tell. But if you're bearish, because it's remaining low, I'll look for a potential setup for the reverse to trade short. Euro, CAD, yep. Canadian dollar has been taking a beating this year. Same with Euro. <clears throat> Here's the high for the year. Here's the low for the year. So because it's bounced up, that's giving strength to the Euro against the Canadian dollar. So this is a new swing low here, right, labeled in red. Yeah, it's a mess. Look at this. There's better currencies to look at that are cleaner charts, or you just take this on a different time frame intraday or higher time frame. But see if this is going to be successful because there's been a lot of selling up here <clears throat> and we had a hammer here. So really, how long is this momentum going to go to the upside? Yeah, caution, caution. Maybe opportunity to short if it goes up here. Euro, Swiss franc, also the Swiss franc is safe haven currencies. And here's the high for the year. And as it's declining, it's giving favor to the Swiss franc, which is a safe haven currency, I say again. And look at that, we broke below the year low. Here was the year low, we broke below that. Hmm, new low, strong like bull, the Swiss franc. The safe haven currency, Swiss franc, Japanese yen. See them going strong in their trend. Interesting. Yep. So one should be concerned about the metals too, gold and silver. There are usually safe haven trades. Euro, Australian dollar. Here's the low for the year. So as this goes higher, it's giving favors to the euro. Yeah, Australian dollar took a beating for this year. So look at that. A few weeks ago was the all-time new high. And we have a reverse going higher back up. We'll see if it break above that. But again, this is giving favor to the euro. And some policies in Australia is definitely affecting them. All right, let's go on to the next group of pairs, which is the... Yen pairs. Yen, US dollar. Yeah, look at that, declining. Here's the high for the year. As we're declining, this is giving straight to the yen. A lot of whipsaw here. But for the week, lower low, lower high, momentum's down. This would be a telltale sign to look for a break below that. Break below that could go all the way down here. So that's a trade idea. <clears throat> Excuse me, Euro Yen. Yep, already spoke by that. Look at that, right in that demand zone. We're gonna see what happens closely with the uh, you pay attention to that one. Pound, Swiss franc. Hmm. So, again, the yen is gaining strength. This is moving down, giving strength to the yen. Broke below this consolidation area. Notice this swing low here, this yellow horizontal line. Here we had a hammer, bullish pin bar that rejected that swing low, giving strength, but that momentum to the upside did not last long. Just when acceleration broke down, broke down in strength. Hmm. This candle's not done for the weekend. You see a lot of currencies, currency war is going into the uh, yep, safe haven currencies. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen as well too. The Japanese yen is dominating against the Canadian dollar, here's the high, and it's declining against the Japanese yen giving strength. Same thing, look at the setup. Yeah. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, two safe haven currencies. So right now, had a lower, lower, lower high, and this is giving strength to the Japanese yen. So this trend is down, giving strength to the Japanese yen against the Swiss franc. And here we have that demand zone. Big consolidation here too, a lot of mess. Aussie, Japanese yen, yeah. Like I mentioned, Australian dollars been struggling. So all this declining, giving strength to the Japanese yen. We're in a demand zone right here, this green area. <clears throat> and look at that, we're almost near the low of the year. Interesting, if we break that, where we go down to this swing low from last year. Hmm, this is all open, interesting, yeah. Good trade ideas right here with the uh, safe haven currency, Japanese yen. Let's go look at the last set of Forex pairs. The pound. You have the pound. So the pound US dollar. Declining here. Giving strength to the US dollar. <clears throat> declining. Big picture. It's an acceleration phase. But again, currently we made a lower low, lower high. Giving strength to the US dollar. Or see if we go back into retest this. What was prior demand zone. This is caution here. This swing low. This big picture here, exhalation, is a mess. 
So you would think this may be just a stop hunt fake out. So watch cautious because when it goes down here, it may be going down on weakness, which opportunity to buy out of reverse. Pound, Japanese yen, we already spoke about that. Euro, pound, yep, we already spoke about that. <clears throat> pound, Canadian dollar. What a mess here, huge consolidation. Here's the low for the year, here's the high for the year. Inside candle for week two. That'd be interesting for breakout. If we break above here from last week, that'd be a bullish trade. Let's go long. And the pound switch franc, huge consolidation over several months. But again, you can see the break, most of it red, declining, giving strength to the Swiss franc against the British pound. And the pound Australian dollar, yep, all in favor for the pound up here. Wow. All time highs up there. And we have this consolidation here. It looks like a bullish flag forming. So one would expect we're going to break the high of here. Trade opportunity being long the pound against the Australian dollar. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll click subscribe if you have it. And certainly click that like. Thank you. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. Let me know what you thought about this video. And please let me know what you want to see next. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on my PayPal link. You can leave a small tip. If you don't want to share financial support, no problem. Just click the like and subscribe.